All right, we've got a great recipe for you guys. We are gonna be making some homemade uh, tortilla chips. And so we have, the first ingredient is going to be some sprouted corn tortilla tortillas. And this is my brother Dakota. So what you're gonna do, so hold off Stella, if you have some corn tortillas, cool. If you have regular tortillas, that's fine too. The way you're gonna do this, you need tortilla, oil, salt, a sharp knife, don't touch it still, cutting board, and some roasting pans. You could also use a cookie sheet for this too. So I like to use the, the aluminum roasting sheets here. So what we're gonna do first is oil your tortillas. So, heads up, buddy. Almost. I'm gonna have Stella help me with this part. So we're gonna put a little oil in, just kind of similar to how we did our sweet potato toast. We're gonna put a little drizzle of oil in the in our pan. We're gonna oil up each tortilla and stack them, and then we'll cut them into chips when we're all done. So you're gonna take your tortilla, you're gonna oil, oil both sides, and you can kind of just slide it around I with your hand. Your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom will do it then. Very simply, just oiling each tortilla. And once again, as we learned in the other videos that I had for you guys on cooking, you want to use a high heat oil. So something like an avocado oil is high heat. Something like coconut oil, if you have coconut oil, you could use that as well. Obviously that's a solid at room temperature. So you're gonna to need to melt that first before you put it on your pan as well as your tortillas. It'll melt certainly in the oven, but you need to be able to coat your tortillas so that they're ready to bake in the oven. And I'm just kind of making a stack on my cutting board, which I'll show you in just a minute. And by sliding the tortilla around on the pan, or on your roasting pan here, you can, you're just kind of doing double duty here, getting the oil spread around so it can cook your chips. So we really had kind of a craving for chips in the house and we didn't have any chips and with all the stuff going around out, on outside and us needing to stay home, we got creative when we found a package of corn tortillas in the freezer. And I like this brand of corn tortillas because they're sprouted corn tortillas and they're a little bit more, when you deal with sprouted grains or sprouted nuts, they're a little bit easier for your body to get some of the nutrients from them. So if you have an option of choosing sprouted versus not sprouted, choose the sprouted. Okay, we're gonna call it good on this tortilla here because we wanna make sure we got enough room on our pan to put the chips out. So, can I show them my dancing at the <clears throat> You can do some background dancing if you'd like in the video for sure. Okay, so we have our stack of tortillas. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut them. So I'm going to wipe my hands off because they're kind of oily. Can I do my dancing? Wait, you might want to turn it around. Well, don't touch the video. Okay, we're back. So we're going to get a sharp knife. I'm going to show you my dancing. And we're just going to cut half way. No, 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 no. Buddy. I didn't mean to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stella really wants to show you her dance moves, but we're gonna continue on with our video here. So we got them cut in half. We're just making a pie. Great idea, buddy. All right, cut it again. And one last time here. This is gonna make quite a bit of chips. Ooh, we're getting, getting a little owly. Are you getting owly? And last but not least. So I'm gonna show you just half of it here. All you do is need to arrange it on your pan. So just spread out your chips all along the pan. 
put them nice and close together like so you don't need to have many spaces in between them so i'll show you really quickly here there we go put them nice and close you're going to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on and then just pop them in the oven at 350 keep an eye on them because they'll cook quickly about 10 minutes maybe a little bit less depending on how crunchy you like your chips well, I guess that's kind of a weird question. Everybody likes crunchy chips. Um, pop them in there for about 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on when they start to kind of brown just a little bit, then they're done. Let them cool off a little bit and test one out. If you need to pop them back in the oven a little bit more, you can do that. Um, but just keep an eye on them because they cook very quickly. So that's an easy, quick, fun little way to make yourself your very own homemade tortilla chips. There you go. Enjoy. I, 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 I am a dancer at home. Beautiful. If you can see that, I'm see you dancing. later. Say bye. Bye.